you remember when that Washtenaw County cop in Michigan was arrested for drunk driving? Before getting into deeper corruption and human rights abuses by Washtenaw County officials, here are some highlights of a drunk Washtenaw County Lieutenant Sheriff. The reason why I'm stopping you is we got multiple reckless driving calls about you. Okay? And then when I'm following you, you're hitting the shoulder of the road. You been drinking? How many? Just a couple. Okay. I know you are, but just let me go. And I'm not, I can't let you go. We are, are, we're way past that point. You're intoxicated. I know it. You both get off the of the vehicle, then you're back. I know it, you know it. I'm I'm not losing my career over you. I, you don't have to. Yes, you can. You think I want to do this? Arrest a fellow cop? Uh, yes, I think you do. Why? I don't know. Just I know this over. career. I know what you go through every day. No, just let me go over. Why do you think I want to arrest a cop? We're not above I the law. I don't know. Are we doing field sobriety tests? I think he would let me just sit the off. Okay. Well, he's not the officer in charge. All right, so let's make a deal, okay? Oh. What kind of deal do you want to make? Uh, a cop to a cop? That's what the deal's about. A cop to a cop? Why are you putting me in that situation? Why are you putting me in that situation? I didn't drink. Okay, that's fine. I didn't drive. Drunk. Washtenaw County is hiding a lot more dirty laundry than a drunk driving sheriff documenting that cops make deals amongst themselves behind closed doors. The risk manager of Washtenaw County, paralegal Judy Kramer, knows the difference between the lawful land jurisdiction and corporate statutory legal jurisdiction. Put another way, the corporate statutory legal fictitious courtrooms don't have lawful jurisdiction over the land, and counties across America know this, but they don't want us to know. This phone call's being recorded. Are you in Michigan? No, I am not. Although, you could say, I am, I, am, I am physically located in the territory of Michigan. I am not in the state of Michigan, which is a corporate entity that is uh, not, right, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, that's confirmed. Attorneys hide this jurisdictional difference from us and use plausible deniability to deceive us. Here is the Washtenaw County prosecutor claiming to not know the difference between the lawful land jurisdiction and the corporate statutory legal fictional jurisdiction, and that he needs to ask his masters at the United Nations about this jurisdictional distinction. Just like Michigan is simply a corporate, you know what the difference between the state of Michigan and the territory of Michigan is this correct? Do you know the difference? Uh, probably not the way that you do, because you seem to have studied this in some detail, which is great. Okay, so you're saying that ignorance of the law is an excuse, is that correct? Uh, I believe that that is not an excuse, no. Okay, so then you need to know these things. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Ignorance is no excuse. Mackey is intentionally confusing the land and corporate jurisdictions for his job. An attorney once told me, everything legal is a fiction. This best translates into everything legal is a lie. Mackey works together with the Washtenaw County Public Defender to steal people's private property. Washtenaw County literally stole my car and refused to acknowledge that I actually owned it outside their legal system at a foreign government, the world government of world citizens. Here is the Washtenaw County Public Defender denying property rights to foreign nationals. Public Defender's Office. Sir, how is our world citizen supposed to get their car back? The world citizen does not have a car, really. Washtenaw County voluntarily, intentionally, willfully, and maliciously refuses to defend private property rights as documented here. Such denial of private property rights is appalling. 
the United States is not a government. It is a corporation. They claim ownership over all property, including our bodies, as surety, by a method called usufruct. Human beings have been converted into corporations called legal presences with legal names. We are only allowed to use the property that they, the state, owns and controls, like cars and real estate. The United States was a de facto corporation running a mere governmental services franchise outside the land jurisdiction. Here is Representative Alan West explaining that the United States is a de facto corporation. Well, you're absolutely right, Judge. You know, what we have to look at is the president is the chief executive officer of this corporation called the United States of America. Look, at is the president is the chief executive officer of this corporation called the United States of America. Look, you know, what we have to look at is the president is the chief executive officer of this corporation called the United States of America. Of this corporation called the United States of America. The United States is merely the United Nations Corporation in the sovereign city-state of New York City doing business as the United States, but we'll get to Mackey's Masters in another video. Subscribe and notify for updates.